Hi, this is Shelly with the Gray Wren Sewing and Crafts on Etsy and the Gray Wren Sewing and Crafts on Facebook. Today we're going to show you how to make an embroidered volleyball. First, you start with a Wilson soft play volleyball. Once you get it home, you'll start on the back side, there'll be the barcode and you'll use fingernail polish remover. 100% acetone. 100% acetone with a cotton ball. And you'll just get the cotton ball wet and it wipes right off. Then you'll take and you'll just take the three panels off of the back. We use a seam ripper and I always start right in the middle of a panel because it's easier. I work to the side and then I'll work to the other side. And then I just work my way around. And once I have all three panels off, then I just separate all three panels after marking them with panel one, two, and three with an arrow pointing to the top of each panel. At that point, we're ready to embroider the panel. And then while the panels are embroidering, I will come and I will reinforce all four corners. Is that what you're getting ready to do is reinforce what I'm getting the corners? ready to do. We also then, after you let the air out of the bladder, with a regular um, basketball style air pump. Just use the needle and let the air out all, completely out of the bladder. You'll take it and you'll partially open the seam just like that. That way when you go to flip the ball back around, you're able to flip it. You'll just turn your ball completely inside out And now you are ready to reinforce your sides and get ready for the f finished product once it's done embroidering. Okay, and we'll show you all those steps. Okay, so now, now Mike's going to reinforce the seams at the corners before we get ready to actually stitch the embroidered panel back on. And we are using an industrial walking foot sewing machine. You can use a heavy duty sewing machine um, as long as it will take thicker threads and thicker needles. Um, or you can hand stitch. You do not want to start right at the corner. You want to leave your, your corner open a little bit so that when you go to turn your ball, you'll then catch it. Just reinforce your corners. This is what they'll look like. They should not come apart. And that's what you want before you go and flip it. Okay, but it's still like a little loose right here in the corner, right? Yes. Just on the edge. Because that's where the other one meets up to it. Yep. And then you will want to reinforce those small sections here where you're actually going to flip the ball. So that those don't come apart when you're... while you're flipping it. Okay. Thank you. Once Mike takes the uh, volleyball panels apart, they will look like this. Three separate panels. And then we will add these to our... Um, our embroidery hoop that has sticky stabilizer on it and we will stick it to our hoop. Another thing we do is label each of the panels to make sure we get it on the ball correctly when we sew it back together and also when we're embroidering. So we always mark this is panel one, two, and three and which is the top. That's always important to do as you take them off the ball. So we make a template and um, we use the lettering within the program and then Courtney digitized this bulldog over here in um, the file section for uh, this volleyball that the customer wants. Um, I highly encourage you, since this is not a video on embroideryawaresoftware.com, I highly encourage you to look them up. But this is how we do all of our digitizing for our specialized orders. The first thing that you're going to do is... Um, embroider out the template. Okay, so you want to take the volleyball pieces and place them on the template that you just embroidered out. And you wanna get them on here 
real good. You gotta watch what you're doing here. And then once you lay them down, you wanna take like the edges and fold them out and push them down. And we're pushing them down on sticky stabilizer, sulky sticky stabilizer. Okay, so the next step is to put this WSS on the top and stick it down to the sticky stabilizer, right? Yep, and if you're doing something like this bulldog that has um, some tiny lines on it, um, it, it's up to you, but I double mine. So now we're going to embroider the volleyball panels now that we have them on our sticky stabilizer. embroider the panels they look something like this and then Mike is going to show you the next steps and then you take your first and second panel put them facing each other and you line up your edges and then we use these little clips to hold your panels together and as you sew you just take them off and Keep moving down the line. And do you leave the corner free? You start where the first hole is? Start where the first hole is. And you just follow the holes that are already there. Yep. So once you get all three panels sewn together, this is what it should look like. You don't see any gaps. You don't see any of the old holes existing. And next we're going to sew it back on the regular ball then. So to make sure that you do not sew this panel back on upside down, you want to look inside. You can see the other side of the ball and it will be face up and then you take your panel and you make sure that they match. And then you overlay it just like this. And you'll use your same. You'll start on one side. So you'll do the top. And then you'll come and do the bottom. And then you do the other two sides. Okay. So right now you're pinning your fourth side. Yep. Final side. And then he'll sew that together. And then we'll flip our ball. To flip it, we use a heat gun. If you don't have a heat gun, you can use a blow dryer. I do not recommend sticking it in the dryer to warm up the leather because the bladder is still attached and you can't detach it from the ball. Okay. So he's just softening and he's holding it way up here so he doesn't scorch it. But he's just getting the, the leather soft. Our footballs we actually stick in the dryer. So he still has the heat gun going and he's slowly turning it. Takes time and strength. <laughs> Just work from the opposite end. And it will slowly start to turn. You do not want to get too close to the heat gun or blow dryer because you can melt the leather on the ball. Still has the gun going. Okay. 
Let's see the front of the ball. So the bladder is stuck back up inside now. And that is what it will look like once we stitch the bottom together and blow it back up. So we use a normal basketball air pump, hand pump. And you wanna make sure when you go to put air back into it, you slowly stick the needle in to not puncture the side of the bladder. And you'll wanna just air it up to where it's got enough air to get its form, but not too much to where you're gonna ruin and pop the bladder when you go to hand stitch the back piece together. Okay, so we're just looking for a little bit of form right now. And then next is hand stitching shut. Next, I use the ladder stitch to stitch up this area right here. And sometimes um, I have to use a needle nose plier to pull the needle through. Uh, this is number 69 uh, polyester nylon thread that is um, that we'll use to sew the ball together. So I'm using it in the hand needle as well. For the ladder stitch, I start with one side. I put the needle in and I'm gonna pull it through. Then I'm gonna go directly over to this hole, put the needle in, bring it out this hole, and pull it through. Then I put it over to the other side. I put it in a hole, just like this, and I pull through. Then I come back to this side. I put it in the next hole and pull through. Pull. And um, just like this, and I pull through. And if you'll notice, I'm starting to do more of a, a ladder stitch here. There's a stitch, there's a stitch. This one's going to make a stitch that goes across. And then I'm going to pull those tight and it will close the seam. I do that all the way down the ball. So you can see that we have a ladder stitch forming here like this. And then I'm just going to pull tight and it closes it up. And I do that all the way down the ball this and then I always keep the thread hanging and I pump up the rest here so we're going to get it pumped up and then we'll trim the thread and these are the finished volleyballs they came out really nice I'm sure the customer will love them so if you like this video please like and subscribe and hit the comment section below and we'll continue to make the videos that you might be interested in. I make it a point that when I have a customer um, request, I keep it in the back of my mind, and then when I get an order, I'm happy to um, video it and put it up for all of you to see on YouTube. Thanks.